Welcome to Cook's Corner. I am Dawn from Cucina Aurora Kitchen Witchery down in Salem, New Hampshire. You know us for our amazing infused olive oils. And today I'm gonna to be making you the easiest pork tenderloin. It's a recipe right out of my brand new cookbook, A Kitchen Witch's Guide to Love and Romance. So this is super easy. You can make it on a weeknight if you have the pork tenderloin. Um, you can make it for Valentine's Day, you can make it for a special occasion, um, you can make a lot, you can make a little, it's really, really, really simple. Um, what makes it special is we make a sauce for it with cherries and wine and then we bake the whole thing in the oven after we sear it for a couple of minutes in the pan. Now you'll see I'm going to pour some of this rosemary oil into my cast iron skillet. Now if you don't have a cast iron skillet, that's totally fine. You can use any frying pan that is also oven safe. This has been rubbed with a spice mix that is in the cookbook. It's really just a combination of paprika, a little salt and pepper, and we're just going to sear these little tenderloins just to give them a nice little crust on the outside. So you see now we've got a nice little crust going on our pork tenderloin. And I've got this great sauce that we made earlier. It's simmered down cherry preserves and red wine. You cannot beat this. I'm telling you, it is delicious and again, so easy. Something you could serve at parties and uh, all your friends would be super impressed um, because it's delicious and it looks really fancy. Okay, so you wanna only use about half of the cherry sauce in your pan. Look at that. We're going to put in some fresh thyme so you don't run out of thyme. <laughs> um, and some fresh rosemary just like that right in the pan. And then I'm going to cover this up and we're going to put it right in the oven for about 20 minutes. My pork tenderloins are a little small so 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that's probably all they're going to need. We don't want them to dry out. Um, okay, so here we go. Ooh, it's perfect. You can see we've got that nice crust on it and the sauce is cooked down. So you can serve it right in your pan if you're just, you know, put it right on the table on a nice board and serve it just like this. But what I like to do is I like to plate it so I can slice it more easily. And so I'm just going to take these and put them right on the serving plate. I love putting the, the cooked down herbs right on there, some of those pan drippings, and we're going to add a little bit of the leftover cherry sauce that we had made earlier. So just drizzling that right on top, a little fresh herb for garnish because it makes a beautiful presentation. And there we have it. This is the pork with cherries and red wine from my brand new cookbook, A Kitchen Witch's Guide to Love and Romance. Remember, you can find all of our products at kachinaaurora.com, uh, all of our infused olive oils, and my new cookbook. So thanks for watching and happy cooking.